Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Tonight Show at Home edition. I appreciate you uh, watching and staying at home uh, and doing what we're told. I know it's hard right now, but uh, it's going to work out. So thank you for doing that. We're doing our part, too, staying at home and washing our hands and not touching our face, etc. And uh, we, we, it's just today is a, 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 a Tuesday, I believe, and it's just another day. It's another it's another week, so it's a, it, let's just, every day is another week. So here we go, let's make it easier. Let's start off with a few jokes. Uh, it's time for the monologue. <laughs> Welcome to tonight's show at home edition. Guys, there are reports that Kim Jong-un is in serious condition after having surgery. Wow, that's crazy, uh, he always looks so healthy to me. That's right, uh, there are reports that Kim Jong-un is in serious condition after uh, having surgery. Who knew that the guy with the body shape like the one from Operation would have health issues? He's got water on the knee, bucket of water on the knee. Uh, if anything happens to Kim Jong-un, his sister will take over. You know Kim's sisters, Courtney and Chloe Jong-un. Earlier today at the White House, President Trump met with New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. It was strange because normally when two guys from Queens meet up, it's under a bridge in the middle of the night. Uh, the FDA just authorized the first coronavirus test that allows patients to collect their samples at home. That's right. Now people can mail their sample in and then two weeks later get a call from the lab that says, Sir, that cup was for saliva. Down in Georgia, a governor is, doing, uh, is going against medical experts and reopening some non-essential businesses, including bowling alleys. Look, uh, even when there's not a pandemic, uh, I wouldn't be sticking my fingers into a communal ball hole. Southern states like Tennessee and Georgia are ignoring expert advice and reopening non-essential businesses. That's cool, because the last time the southern states broke off and did their own thing, it worked out pretty well, right? Georgia wants to reopen movie theaters next week. It's perfect if you want to catch uh, the latest releases from February and also the coronavirus. The World Series of Poker has been postponed because of the coronavirus. Yep, of course, all the players were incredibly upset, but it was impossible to tell. I read that seashells in North Carolina beaches have been piling up because no one is there to collect them, the seashells, yeah. So now you know where to go when you need another beach-themed live, laugh, love sign for your bathroom. A woman in Iowa made hundreds of face masks and hung them on a tree outside her house for people to share and take. It's really nice, but while she was hanging them, you know the neighbors were definitely like, Susan's gone insane. And finally, a lot of people say that the lockdowns have created a lot of tension between them and their roommates. A definite sign of that when you start referring to your wife and kids as roommates. Guys, that is our monologue right there. Uh, we have a great show tonight. Halle Berry is on the show tonight. We love Halle Berry. We'll be talking to her and all the things she's doing right now during this quarantine. Also, Russell Westbrook and I talk about Michael Jordan documentaries. We talk about playoff is he ready for the playoffs if nba happens to come back we don't know and uh we have great music from megan trainer to close out the show i appreciate that thanks everyone for coming on um uh, it's tuesday and we thought it'd be fun to do hashtag ask the Fallons. this is where we ask you guys to ask us questions and we'll answer anything whether it be me my my kids or my wife who is also my camera operator who <laughs> does not like to be on camera but it doesn't matter we're in a pandemic we have to do things <laughs> <That's right. laughs> that we don't want to do. So uh, here it is. <laughs> it's time for another installment of Ask, 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 the, the, the Fallons. Fallons, Fallons, Fallons. Hi, guys. Uh, Hi. Welcome to this edition of uh, Ask the Fallons. Uh, we're doing it from inside the, the bus, the VW bus, because it is a crazy storm out. Side, and we're safe and cozy it in might here. Be hailing. Uh, and to be honest, the lighting's just as good in here yeah. than it is outside. <laughs> All right, we got a lot of questions from you guys. All right. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to kind of talk a little bit louder because it's just really coming it down. It's just, it yeah, might yeah, be hailing right now. All right, here we go. I think it is actually, yeah. All right, honey, what were you like when you were the girls' age? So five and six. Okay, so when I was uh, five or six, kindergarten, uh, my best friend's name was Huey, um, and I loved to play and draw and make believe. I was really nice. 
Um, I was very shy and um, I liked to be kind of left alone. I had a younger brother who was only about a year younger. So um, yes, he would sort of, uh, you know, wait until I perfectly set up my entire Barbie townhouse. Was it Barbie perfectly. that you were into? Oh, you're into I was into Barbie, I was into it. Um, Skipper? Draw, yeah, yeah, Skipper and um, you could turn her arms and she would get bigger. She would turn into a preteen. Um, oh yeah, and um, yeah, Jim would come in and um, sort of mess it up, and then I would go back and fix it up again. And I was a peaceful child. You were, but very creative. Very creative. I loved to Which anything, is... uh, drawing, painting, making a store. I made lots of stores. Yeah, that's still my my dream for one day having a store. For me, I think five years old, five and six was the first grade. I was. I was very religious. I was very, I wanted to be a priest. I was an altar boy. Just or just got my first communion. I was really into it. So I was very kind of religious at the time um, when I was five and six. Um, and into, I mean, I didn't have Barbies. Uh, so I don't know. My sister had uh, Barbies. Oh, we might have Donna and Marie dolls. So maybe I was into yes. that. We had the six million dollar man. I remember I loved him. No, I didn't have that. My, I remember I was jealous of a lot of my friends. We'd go there, even just their garage sales, and be like, <laughs> oh, you have the Evil Knievel bike that you pull For the thing? Yeah. It's like, I want that. <laughs> uh, we never had any of those things. But I, I think that I was probably more like, I think it was more like Winnie than I was Franny. You do? Yeah, I think I was more quiet and just like, just did my own thing, yeah. My, si my sister was, yeah, she was more of the, like... I'm surprised. Everyone everyone was really, like, oh, Gloria's the... Oh, yeah, Gloria was kind of a... She's very, she was very cute. Yeah. And very smart. Yes. And people saw that, and they were like, ooh, the boys, you're gonna... You're gonna Good a little, luck with you're, the boy. a little trouble with the boy. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but the daughter's really... Yeah, yeah she's cute yeah. and so smart. Yeah, she But is. he's got something, I guess. He can, he's got something <laughs> to, to work towards. Hey, this one's good. It said, I just started my first serious relationship. Do you have any dating advice? Oh. So, yeah, would you like to go ahead? Mine, I would not. I would not give you any what advice. What would be your advice, actually? I'm so bad. What's my dating advice? <sighs> Maybe realize that when you're first starting to date, that this might not be the one, the one. <laughs> Most likely, it's not the one. It could be the one. It could be the one. I would say you're in the five percentile of that being the one, oh, so. I don't even know where to start with my advice. All right, <clears throat> I'll try to limit it down mm -hmm. to a big one, which is trust their actions, not their words. So, you may hear the most beautiful things, you may hear promises, you might hear everything you wanna hear, but if that person you're dating is not following up with their actions, then they're just words. So trust yourself on that. Stop saying, but, 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 but he said he liked me. If he doesn't show you he liked you, you know, it might be a different, different thing. The other thing is to know what you want. It's so important to know what you want because I think that a lot of us just scream forward waiting for the first person to pull out or pull up or, you know, move ahead and just know what you want. Some some people might just want to date and you don't have to rush to the altar. You don't have to rush to anything. You can just enjoy each other. Did you know what you wanted with me? <laughs> yes. The craziest thing about you was that you to run to the for the first time in my life, someone told me to make that list of what I want. And I had just assumed that I knew what I wanted, but I never actually dated anyone who had anything on the list of what I wanted once I wrote it down. So as soon as I did that, and I'm not kidding, I went on to Fever Pitch and ta-da. Mm -hmm. Wow, so maybe write it write it down. Yeah, it's just a way yeah. of, of understanding your what you're after better. You wanted brown hair, good looks. <laughs> it was a, an entirely physical list. <laughs> <laughs> no, Physique. it was not. It had nothing to do with that. My 20-something <laughs> self would have made that list, but my 
tattoos. My older list was different. Anyway. <laughs> but how different was it? It was just more about like someone who loves family. Because some people, and I've dated people who don't actually want to be around family, and I love my family. And, um, you know, that was a big one. Someone who just had the same sort of <laughs> sense of fun. <laughs> <laughs> that I did. Okay. Yeah, anyway, and someone who was really muscly and great looking, <laughs> and the most handsome prince. Gosh, in the world. I spend about my ninety husband. percent of my day in the gym, <laughs> and when I come out, you know I gotta have my yeah, pro actually, my on protein the, shake. On the list is someone who isn't that into all of that because <laughs> that is like a widow waiting to happen, a gym widow. <laughs> I mean, I just when I get in there, I get pumped, man. I want to come out. You know what I want? That protein shake, and then another round in the gym. That was your list. That's all I so wanted. You must be gravely disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think everyone knows at home how lucky I am. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, let's continue with the show, everybody. Okay. That was Ask the Fallons. Stay dry. Thank you so much for those questions, and uh, thank you, VW, for inventing that, that bus in the 70s. That thing is awesome, and it, it kept us, it kept uh, that that bit, uh, bit going during this rainy, uh, haily, cold storm that was happening outside. Uh, what's up, bud? Hi. What do you want to tell me? Do you know what? What? And you know, please, buddy, and do you know what? What? You always whisper that. I'm trying. Yeah, what? I'm you are trying to be bomb, bomb boy eye. Bon voyage, and the incredible she calls him Bon Voyage. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you for sending in those Ask the Fallon questions, and I appreciate them uh, getting a little bit deeper. And we're, wow, you guys are really asking these hard hitting questions. But, anyways, I appreciate it.